Colossal stars Anne Hathaway as a woman who's living in New York and has recently lost both her job and her British boyfriend, played by Dan Stevens. So she ends up moving back to her hometown in upstate New York, where she comes across an old friend from school, played by Jason Sudeikis, as she attempts to try to get her life back together. But soon she finds out that she might have some strange connections with a monster that just recently attacked Seoul in South Korea. I gotta say, in less than a year, there have been a ton of of monster movies that have come out, or at least a handful. Godzilla Resurgence, A Monster Calls, Kong Skull Island, and now Colossal, which this movie, I really knew nothing about. Okay, I can't say nothing, because I remember there was some sort of proof of concept poster that had Godzilla's image in it, and that got the filmmakers in trouble by Toho because they used Godzilla's image without really getting permission at all. Not really the smartest thing to do. So after that, I didn't hear anything about this movie until just like last month. But I never saw a trailer for it, never saw any posters or advertising for it. But it's because of that one little detail that got the filmmakers in trouble that put this movie on my radar. So I went to check it out and it was fine, I guess. A lot of people have been saying that this is a really good movie and like... A really more of a human story and interesting take on the monster genre which it has a really great idea I gotta say uh, where this woman has some sort of like parallel connection with this giant monster that looks like something from the Ultraman series or it looks like a hybrid of different Ultraman monsters so that's a neat concept and I do like the opening of the movie it feels more grounded and down-to-earth uh, Anne Hathaway does a really good job, and you at first do kind of feel sympathy for her as this woman who's just kind of off the rails and her life's crumbling. So it does a good job making you interested in what's happening. Unfortunately, as the movie plays out, there are a lot of things that just don't really mesh well. For example, characters do things that feel completely out of left field. Some characters are pointless, like one of Jason Sudeikis' friends. There are little bits of character development that are just thrown in and never addressed. And the reason that they give for Anne Hathaway's connection to this monster just feels like one big dump of exposition in one scene. So in the end, I don't ultimately have much to say about this movie, except that I felt rather disappointed. The first half was pretty good, and it got me interested in the movie, and I did feel something for Anne Hathaway's character, but as it kept going along, it just didn't hold up, and there's no real resolution to her character in the end. I didn't feel like her character really ended up in one spot. It just felt like some sort of big forced finale for your average giant monster movie. Which usually I'm very forgiving with a lot of giant monster movies, but with this one trying to tell a more human story, I just don't think it really ended all that well. I mean, it's not awful. I won't say it's downright bad. It's just okay. One thing I really do like is that for this being a much smaller movie, it has some pretty decent special effects. Sometimes it looked very CG, other times it looked like on the level of Godzilla or Pacific Rim. So for this movie, I'd ultimately say watch at your own risk. I'm not sure how many theaters this movie's playing at, uh, because there's only two theaters nearby where it was playing for me. Uh, so if you can try to track it down, I definitely say give it a watch and form your own opinion. And if you're a fan of the giant monster movies from Japan, this is one where it presents a very unique take on the genre. Nothing groundbreaking at all, but something that we haven't seen before. But overall, I personally thought the movie was just okay. Also, I should probably mention that if you do go see this movie in the theater, there are a few short films that play in front of it. Basically, they play this one short film that's a compilation of five stories of people being obsessed over their cell phones, whether it's taking pictures of food on Instagram, looking at porn, taking selfies, or not looking where they're going and then smashing into things. It tries to say something about how obsessive we are over phones, but it just doesn't have a point to it. It's like, okay, we get it, but what was the real point in that? But anyway, that's my review for Colossal. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the movie, if and when you've seen it. And as always, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.